is up guys it is the turtle girl welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel today i've got a bunch of 20 gallon turtle tank ideas these are your tanks that you sent in so i'm gonna be reacting to them today and i'm super duper excited there's a bunch of different styles we've got some planted tanks we've got some tanks with decorations we've got above tank basking areas everything under the sun if you're looking for inspiration for 20 gallon turtle tanks this is the video for you and also i make more videos like this i'm planning to do more on different sized turtle tanks coming up soon so make sure to subscribe if you want to see those and with that let's take a look at some of these tanks first up is a tank from Alyssa in michigan home to a hatchling musk turtle this is just such a wonderful little setup you can see the musk turtle there in the middle super duper tiny this is actually a hatchling and Alyssa mentioned that she actually hatched this turtle from its egg so that is super duper cool i love your stump in here like where did you get that that stump is so cool and then also some other plants on the left there's a basking light over that little area on the stump where the turtle can get out and bask and also another basking area on the left so that's great that you're providing them plenty of opportunities to get out of the water this is just a really great setup for your little musk turtle and your musk turtle is so so cute so thank you so much for sharing Alyssa. next up is a filter from michelle in california with two hatchling turtles a red eared slider and a painted turtle and this is a great little setup for your hatchling turtle as they get bigger you can raise that water level you've got your uvb over the basking area as well as a repto filter now i'm going to say as we go through these 20 gallon longs you're going to see a couple trends here first for the most part, 20 gallon longs are great size tanks for hatchling turtles, smaller turtles. If we're going by the 10 gallons per inch of shell rule, really you should only have about two inches of turtle in a 20 gallon. So these are great setups to start out hatchling turtles, but as they get bigger, you're definitely gonna wanna upgrade. So that is one thing. The second trend are these repto filters. I would say for baby turtles, they can handle the waste just fine. But again, as they get bigger, the turtles produce more waste and they're also eating more, so it can overload those filters. Keep in mind that as they get older, they're pretty much all gonna have to be upgraded. Now, one other thing I love about this tank is that warning protected by killer turtle sticker. Such a great contrast to your cute little turtles in there. So thank you so much for sharing, Michelle. This is a tank from Nicole in New York. And as you can see, they've got Daisy, the red-eared slider in here. You've literally got everything you need to have an amazing 20 gallon tank set up here. You are running a canister filter, which is great because you're gonna be over filtering the water a lot. And then you also have an above tank basking area, which maximizes the swimming space. So that lengthens the amount of time you'd be able to use this for your turtle. You mentioned that you were hoping to upgrade because as you know, red eared sliders get a lot bigger. So I'm really happy to hear that. Here's a tank from Alex in New York with a painted turtle, a little hatchling you can see there in the bottom left. Like I said, those waterfall reptile filters are pretty popular for these 20 gallon longs. You've got your basking areas as well as your heater. I will say you could likely put a little bit more decorations in there. Now, given the size of a 20 gallon long, it doesn't give you too much to work with, but like even just some little plants or something like that to provide cover. I do love to see that you have two filters in here, particularly when you only have the tank half full with water volume. My only other suggestion would be that as this turtle gets larger, that basking dock in the middle, it just takes up a lot of space. So potentially you could put maybe some rocks or wood in the stead of that and then allow the repto filter to double as a basking area. And that would also let you fill the water up more. This setup has a very interesting basking area and it's from John in Portugal. So this is home to a golden thread turtle named Nessie. Very, very beautiful turtle. And the most interesting thing about this tank for me is your basking area and it looks like the grass is probably fake but it also looks very real like when i first saw this picture i thought that the grass was real so i think you've done a really cool job with making a very naturalistic basking area you've also got a decent amount of decorations so that is great to see here's another musk turtle tank from caitlin in north carolina it's no secret i am a sucker for musk turtles if i ever got any more turtles you can bet a musk turtle would be on the list. I think it's a little bit too soon to be talking about that, but definitely on my mind, you know, with losing Nemo and everything like that. But all that aside, this is a very nice tank. I love the driftwood and the Marimo, wa Marimo wasp balls. What is that? I don't even know. The Marimo moss balls that you have in here for your turtle. And especially since your musk turtle is so small, it's good that you're keeping the water level low. However, I will say as they get to be stronger, you can fill that water level up. Those are my thoughts. Your turtle is so, so cute. So thank you so much for sharing. This tank is from Paige in Alabama and it is home to two slider turtles. As you can see, you've got the above tank basking area as well as the sand substrate. I think that looks really, really nice in turtle tanks. Would highly recommend. For those of you looking for substrate recommendations, look up pool fill 
filter sand. It's a great budget alternative to aquarium sand. You can get a 50 pound bag at like, I think Ace Hardware carries it. Some other hardware stores carry it and it's like $11. So look that up if you need a substrate recommendation. But you've got all your bases covered here for sure. You mentioned that you're gonna be buying more decorations, which is great because you have two in here. Personally, I would like to see them with more space, but just make sure that they're getting along and that there's no aggression here. Next up is a tank from Danny in California, home to a red-eared slider. This is just a lovely, lovely tank. I kind of actually like Oh, there's Hoku. <laughs> I kind of actually like the moodier lighting in this tank. And I don't know if it's just because like there's window light on it and then there's just the basking lights and no other lights, but I think it actually looks really, really good in this tank. Along with the dark background and the dark substrate, I think just it makes the plants pop. It makes your decorations pop. Glad to see you've got your basking area. That's great. As well as the piece of wood on the left. It looks like you also have some live plants and neon tetras. Congratulations on those neon tetras. I hope that they survive a long time for you because I have not gotten them to work, but I do have hope. I think I'm gonna start trying some stuff with Hoku. I mostly avoided it because Nemo would never keep the fish alive, but I really haven't experimented much with Hoku. So give this video a thumbs up if you think that's something I should try out. But anyways, overall, I love the look of this tank. You said you have a canister filter, so again, applause for good filtration. The one thing I will say is that Lucky Bamboo is dangerous to turtles if they eat it. So keep that in mind, especially since you have a slider, they tend to eat plants or at least nibble on plants. So if that's a concern, just remove the Lucky Bamboo. You can use some other plant that will be safe for them. Next up is something a little bit different from Maddie in Idaho. So this is home to a Diamondback Terrapin and it is a hatchling. And you first might be thinking, that is not a fish tank. Well, this is another way you can actually keep turtles. This is a, I believe a cement mixing tub and it still has the same amount of water volume and potentially considered more natural for turtles because it's kind of more like that pond environment where all of the sides are covered. So that's something to look into if you're not set on having a glass tank for your turtle. Sometimes it requires you to be a little bit more creative with your setup. I know that Dan the Turtle Man keeps quite a few of his turtles like this. So definitely check out his channel if you're interested in seeing more setups of this style. You can just click the I button up here, but it's very efficient because it has usually more surface area. I can't actually see your turtle in here, but you do have a Asking spot, a filter, a heater, some decorations, all the things necessary to make your turtle happy. I think this is really cool and it's a different way to keep turtles, so thank you so much for sharing, Maddie. This is Brayden and their painted turtle, I believe, in a 20 gallon high. So something I wanted to bring up here is the difference between a 20 gallon high tank and a 20 gallon long. So as you can see with this tank, the dimensions don't exactly look the same as some of the previous tanks we've looked at. And that is because there are two styles of tanks that have a capacity of 20 gallons. There's the 20 gallon high, which is exactly Amplified here, which has a footprint of 12 inches by 16 inches and then is 24 inches high versus the 20 gallon long, which we've seen in some other setups that have a footprint of 30 inches by 12 inches and they are 12 inches high. So the difference here is that the 20 gallon long has a bigger footprint. What does that mean? That means that there's more horizontal space to swim when the tank is filled all the way up versus a 20 gallon high where the footprint is smaller and there's more depth where the turtle can swim. Now I'll tell you for the most part, especially when you're dealing with hatchling turtles, having a bigger footprint is more important than having depth. So if you are looking to get a 20 gallon tank, I would definitely recommend a 20 gallon long. So that's just something to keep in mind. And that is the difference between the 20 gallon long and the 20 gallon high. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do another video more in depth about tank size and the differences even between tanks that hold the same water volume. With all that aside, here in Brayden's tank, you can see that there is actually a kind of a large cave ornament here on the left-hand side, some plants, and then some rocks and stuff, as well as the basking area. So a couple of things here. The first is just be very careful with cave style decorations like this in turtle tanks, because it is extremely possible for your turtle to get stuck. We would not want that happening. And then also just keep an eye on that substrate there. It looks like you have some smaller particles that could potentially be ingested. So just keep an eye on that. Here is a tank from Alejandro in Texas. Texas, and there are actually four turtles in this tank. So first off, I gotta compliment your basking area. That looks absolutely fantastic. The turtle's got a great space to bask. And then you do have a decent amount of decorations and kind of greenery covering throughout the tank. The one thing I will say in here is having four turtles as well as some cichlids, even if they are hatchlings, 
you will definitely need to be giving these guys more space as they're getting larger so please just keep that in mind but overall like if this tank was for one turtle i would say this is absolutely perfect so a good job on your above tank basking area thank you so much for sharing alejandro here's a tank from anthony in colorado that is home to two sliders now again this looks pretty similar to a lot of the tanks we've seen the major thing i wanted to point out is bare bottom so that is something you can do with turtle tanks it's a lot easier to clean and spot waste so that is another idea for a 20 gallon turtle tank Here's a tank from Ryan in New York, home to a yellow-bellied slider. All right, guys, little pop quiz to see if you learned anything from the previous section. Is this a 20 gallon long or a 20 gallon high? I'll give you a couple seconds to think about it. If you thought that this was a 20 gallon high, you are correct. As you can see, you kind of got that more glass space, more of a viewing space. So there you go, 20 gallon high. Now you know how to recognize the difference, but you've got your basking lights, your filter, your heater, all the good things. This is a pretty typical setup for a hatchling turtle. As you can see, a larger size gravel was used. Now for hatchling turtles, that's just fine as long as it's bigger than their head and they can't eat it. This tank is from Kaylin and is home to a musk turtle. Here we go again with that warning protected by killer turtle stickers. That is such a cool sticker. I don't know where you get those. If someone knows where to get those, please send me one. My mailbox is in the description. Those are just like really cool stickers and I'm kind of getting jealous seeing all of you with those stickers. But that aside, this is just another example of how you can set up a 20 gallon turtle tank. You do have pebbles on the bottom so it's bigger than the turtle can eat. And then you also have a cool castle and all kinds of other cool decorations. Now I will say you could likely put more decorations in this, but it just goes to show it doesn't have to be naturalistic if you don't want to. The biggest thing is just providing stuff for the turtle to explore, breaking up their line of sight and giving them things to hold on to as they try to get to the surface of the water. Okay, like look, see, we're here at it again with another sticker. This is a tank from Jaden in New Jersey. There are actually two turtles in here, a red-eared slider and a pink belly. Again, hatchlings, so this will be sufficient until they get a bit larger. You've got your decorations in there, this nice green plant, sand strub substrate. You also have done a pretty good job with lighting the tank. It looks like you have your basking area over there on the left. And then it looks like to protect from escaping, you've actually maybe bended a little piece of plastic or acrylic to kind of make the walls higher on that side. So that is a great idea to fill your tank all the way up, but also prevent escapees. Now, the one thing is you're filtering this with a sponge filter. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. It can definitely handle the biological filtration of your turtles. The only issue is that as they get older, many people have found that their turtles will actually bite sponge filters or at the very least push them around. So just keep that in mind. Sponge filters are also not as effective with mechanical filtration. They don't create that much water flow. So as the turtles get bigger, you're gonna wanna look at upgrading filtration as well. Your final inspiration for the day comes from Vanessa in Canada. This is home to a map turtle named Kawai. Very cute name. The water level's pretty low here, but as you can see, the turtle's relatively small. The one thing I absolutely love about this tank is your driftwood basking area. You actually included a picture of your turtle basking. Also on that rock and I love the idea of natural basking areas especially with hatchling turtles if you are keeping the water level low that's something you can really be creative with it's a lot easier to make something sticking out of the water so your turtle can bask so this is very very cute you've also got an anemone in there which is kind of rad it adds some color and some fun to this tank you've got your filter there on the left hand side and then you also mentioned that when your turtle gets bigger you're planning to upgrade to a 75 gallon so it is so great that you have a plan for your turtle when you get larger. So that is the last tank for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye-bye.